Hey, hey, it's Joey Atlas here, exercise physiologist, private fitness coach and consultant. I got a little treat for you. Somebody sent me a message. They said, hey, what kind of cardio can I do when the weather's bad and I want to stay either home, I don't have a treadmill, or I'm at a hotel and I want to just do something in the room, or if I'm at a friend's house and they have no equipment and the weather's bad outside, what can I do? That's simple and easy and efficient. So I've got a lot of options. But the first thing I thought of, as always, is my go-to, and that's the, a mini cardio circuit. This is a fat-burning circuit, great for cardio health, great for coordination. I'm going to be using a jump rope. Now, if you're not able to use a jump rope, whether you just can't jump rope or you don't have one yet, you'll put two tennis balls in long tube socks or dress socks, and you're going to use those as your mock jump rope. You'll hold the, the um, ends without the ball, the tennis balls are in the far end of the sock, and that's gonna be your jump rope. On the ground, I have two small dumbbells. You can use anything, small dumbbells. You can use one dumbbell. You can use a medicine ball. You can even use a heavy phone book or something along those lines. So here we go. I'm gonna give you the short version. These intervals, I'm gonna jump for about 30 reps, 40 reps. I might keep going because it's pretty coordinated today. So let's say 40 or 50. After 40 or 50, this goes to the side. I go into what I call t budge. We don't do burpees. I don't do burpees. We don't teach burpees here. We don't teach burpees to our clients abroad. I don't teach burpees to my consulting clients who are in other states, other countries, no burpees. I know a bazillion people do them, but they stink. They're bad for your toes, bad for your back, bad for your wrist, bad for your shoulders, and they're not necessary. I don't do burpees, and I look pretty good for not doing them crazy burpees. I don't wanna brag, but I'm proving a point. They're not necessary. We do T-Buds. These are total body up and downs. We go down, one leg back, the other leg back, this one in, this one in, we squat, we bring whatever we're holding all the way to the ceiling, come down slowly, back, back, in, in. This is very deliberate. And even though it's not fast motion, I'm going to break a sweat, trust me, and so will you. I usually do about eight reps of this, so it's eight total round trip. Much safer than your burpees. We don't do burpees, we don't even say burpees in here, but I'm saying it to prove a point so that you don't believe that you have to do burpees because everybody says you gotta do burpees. Burpees are great. Burpees stink. Burpees are a joke. Even some of my best fitness pals Love doing burpees, and we make fun of each other. We have fun with it. It's all in good fun. They have lots of millennials that they train. I train the middle-aged folks and up who have to get wiser and smarter. Notice the slow, deliberate form. All right, I'm feeling that. I'm gonna give you one more go-round, and that'll be the example, the sample session. I love jumping rope. One of my favorite things to do for cardio. You can do it anywhere. Listen to podcasts, my podcast, other podcasts. But cool thing is, you could do this anywhere. There's no excuse not to do cardio. Again, even if you can't jump rope, you get those long socks, put your tennis balls in them, that's what you hold in your hands. And you do the best you can with the jumping motions. I'm gonna go one more go around on my T buds, my total body up and downs, no burpees. Feet come out wide, we squat down. And these are light, these are only eight pounds each. You can go even lighter, you can go without them, you can go no, no weights or no medicine ball. No weight to no medicine ball, especially if you're a beginner. Just get the motion down. 
No burpees though. Ban them burpees. Burpees are otherwise known as herpes. We don't want to do herpes. Silly. Why should we be jamming our toes into the ground and jamming our wrists into the ground and jacking up our backs? So many people get hurt doing them. Burpees. No burpees. We do the total body up and downs with control, with good form, with focus. Intentional body movements. Focus, 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 focus. No fast movements. I'll tell you what. It's not just the talking, but my cardio is up. Breaking a little sweat. And that was just twice through the short circuit. If I wanted to do a full cardio workout, I'd keep going back and forth. Maybe take the whole thing out to 18 minutes, 20 minutes. I'll be sweating really good. And that would be it. So there you have it. Another example of easy, simple, non-complicated fitness training that gives you all the benefits, all the results, minimizing the risk of injury, minimizing the torture factor, minimizing the punishment factor. We don't like doing things that don't feel good to us. Who wants to beat themselves up? Fitness is about feeling good in the first place. Not making yourself feel crappy and hurt and injured. It doesn't make sense. So, if you like the message I'm bringing you, this old guy, this fit old guy, this healthy old guy, let me know below. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you want to see more of. If you have nutrition questions, mindset questions, other training questions at home, on the road, at the office, for your employees, your staff. You want to get them more fit. You want to get them healthier, in shape, so that they all do a better job for the company as a whole. It matters. It counts. So that's it for now. I'll be back with more soon. As always, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you.